Hey boys and girls, come join me as we explore the world of photography. Hey boys and girls, Miss Overstreet here and I am super excited about our next lesson because it is all about photography this week and photography is one of my favorite hobbies um, outside of teaching. So before we jump into learning all about the camera and the lenses, we're going to talk about something called composition. Now I know composition seems like a big word, but really it's just how you frame a picture. And if you've ever played tic-tac-toe before, this is going to be a very easy lesson for you to remember. So come follow along with me as we talk about something called the rule of thirds. When looking through your camera, I want you to imagine a tic-tac-toe grid. This grid divides your picture into thirds. Both the horizontal and vertical sections are split into three sections. So you might be wondering what the rule of thirds is. So the rule of thirds looks something like this. And it's a tool that you can use to help frame your subject. So for the rule of thirds, it almost looks like a tic-tac-toe grid where there's line, vertical lines going down and your horizontal lines going across, dividing your frame into nine equal boxes. Now the point of the rule of thirds is to help you frame your subject and you want to make sure you're not framing your subject right in the middle, but more on one of these intersecting lines right here, right here, and right here, and right here. You have four of them. So if you're taking a portrait of someone, you don't want to stick their face right in the middle, but maybe off to the side to show a little bit more of your scene in the background. Now if you're doing a landscape, um, you want to place your horizon line, and that's a term we use a lot when creating art in my classroom, so everyone should know what that is. But you want to place your horizon line on one of these horizontal lines going with uh, across the top or across the bottom. So for our first project together, you're going to be making your own viewfinder with your lines going vertical and horizontal across. Now I'm going to show you all the steps on how to make this fun project and then you can kind of take it outside and kind of frame up your own shots um, for a little bit of practice before you kind of dive into using the real camera. So follow along with the steps on making your own rule of thirds grid. Now that you are familiar with the term rule of thirds, let's check out a few examples of the rule of thirds in action. This is my daughter Ava and you can see how I lined up her face on the left side of the frame. On this image, I lined up the tree with the two intersecting dots on the left. On this image, I lined up Ava on the three intersecting points. And for my last image, I lined up the barn with the bottom right intersecting point. At this point, I think we're all set to start our grid. All you need is a few simple materials, a piece of cardboard, four pieces of string, tape or glue, and some coloring supplies to decorate your grid with. Remember, make sure you separate your grid into nine equal boxes with your string. Now let's go out and practice and start framing in the world around us. Before you can take great pictures, you need to know how to create a great composition first and the rule of thirds can help you do that. As always, thank you for following along at Miss O Art Studio and check back in for more photography lessons.